Hello everyone, Ellie Diecast. I am back, and if you're hearing a white noise in the background, that is a fan because it is very, very, very hot here in Southern California right now. And I'm in my garage, and well, it's just kind of uncomfortable out here, so we've got the fan on. But uh, today, I'm going to do something I've wanted to do for a while, and that is talk about a specific car. You can see we've got some twin mills here. The, um, the twin mill, one of my favorites. But it also just kind of has a lot of history with Hot Wheels. So I thought we'd start with these NASCAR. Uh, this is a Pro Racing series that you're looking at. The A um, little bit of history about the Pro Racing series. I don't get a lot of the NASCAR uh, collector items. Um, well, for one thing, we don't get a lot of races out here in Southern California. But when I do go to the races... I really don't get a lot of the collector stuff. I, I like racing, all different car races I watch, but I really can't say that I know a ton about it. So I'm not even going to try and figure out which drivers belong to which teams and which year and so forth. So the um, But going back to the Pro Racing Series, Hot Wheels has had an agreement with NASCAR for a long time, and I don't know if they still do. I think they might have um, either lost that license or or uh, given it away, traded it, whatever. But the Pro Racing Series was a group of cars that would be put out every year um, in conjunction with the NASCAR drivers. And if you've ever been to a NASCAR race, at NASCAR races they have all these trucks and each driver kind of has their souvenir truck that they park outside the stadium. And usually these cars would be sold in those different trucks. So each team would be selling paraphernalia for each for their team. So for instance, these twin mills that you're looking at, they might actually show up in three different trucks. You might not actually see them all together even though they were part of the same set. And uh, Hot Wheels would put out different sets of these. So for instance, this is the twin mill set and this was from 2001. There's actually one more of these. I'm missing one. Uh, I'm missing the Valvoline. Uh, twin mill, I think, but there were four total. And they, uh, in 2001, they might put out five different castings with different teams on it. And they might be anywhere from four to 12 to 15 different teams in that casting. And they might put out a series that just has random cars with different teams. Every year they put out a different number of these series and it was to sell at NASCAR races and um, to to kind of feed that partnership they had with NASCAR. But um, getting back to these, these have um, real riders on them and they're, they're rubber tired wheels. I picked these up at the last car show and I got these in the $2 box and I snatched them up. I did look for the fourth one. I knew there was four and I couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, $2, there's no way they went for that originally. But they all have real riders, they have metal bases, metal bodies. They're really nice cars, really well detailed. And these are in near perfect shape. It may look like they have some scratches on them, but that's all tampos on the fenders. A lot of team logo stuff going on. They're all the same car, just different, different uh, color schemes and decorations. And if I try here, I can probably guess who this was from 2001. I should have should have wrote this down, but I think the Sitgo one, this one is Jeff Burton. I think that's number 99. Um, the Cat one, uh, Burton is the last name, and now I'm forgetting the first name. Uh, this one, this one's Ward Burton, that's who it is. And this one, the Tide, um, that is, well, it'll come to me. Give me a second. Scott Pruitt was number 32. So, and I mentioned I'm missing one, Valvoline. And uh, I think the Valvoline was Ward Burton, but I don't remember the number on it. So the these pro racing sets would come out every year. Anyways, I really like these and I wanted to share them. If anybody has the one I'm missing 
or they have others in this series and you want to trade, well, let me know. But going off of the twin mill, which is what I wanted to do in this little video. Here we go. Oh, by the way, if you notice anything different with the videos, I've changed the lighting. And I don't know if it's working better or worse. So I will watch this video with you guys and figure it out. But I have a diffuser screen set up which should be cutting down on some of the glare and the color differences that we were getting, like the purples and the blues and so forth. So we'll see if it looks any better. Um, but talking about the Twin Mill, this is a Twin Mill 3, and this is from 2010, although it looks very, very much like the 2011 one, which I will get here in a second. Whoa, watch out, diffuser screen coming down. Okay, we gotta work out some we gotta work out some production issues here with <laughs> the diffusion screen. Uh, you can see here 2010 on top, 2014 on the bottom. So they were very similar. Very similar uh, to each other. Something that Hot Wheels doesn't usually do. They don't usually make them so close together but that is the 2014 version that uh, got quite a bit of attention because it was one of the supers um, but there's uh, there's three versions of the twin mill there's this twin mill 3 that if you're a new collector you're probably used to and I don't remember the year of this red one it's somewhere maybe 2009 10 11 somewhere in there um, you know looks a lot like the original twin mill twin mill one which was a red line here is the twin mill two and the twin mill two was the one you got if you were collecting somewhere around the oh i'm guessing twin mill three showed up maybe around 2009 and twin mill two probably went to through the 2000s maybe the 1990s um, Twin Mill 2 never had an interior where the Twin Mill 3 does. Here's some more Twin Mill 2s. The, um, the Twin Mill 2 kind of looked almost like a tuned car. The, um, and speaking of tuned cars, the Twin Mill also came in a tuned version. And I'll try and find you that here in a second. I just remembered that. I, I was thinking there was three of them when I made the video. And now I remember there was a tuned version of them. Um, but the Twin Mill was one of the original red lines, and that's where it came from. And I am going to either knock the camera down or the diffusion screen down. So for the next video, if you do like the diffusion screen, i got to work out how not to knock it down. But the, uh, the original one was a red line, and I don't have a red line to show you. But I will try to find a picture of the original red line. So yeah, the, the original Twin Mill was a red line, then Twin Mill 2. Then there was a tuned version stuffed in there. I think they only made one a variation of the tuned version. And then we have the Twin Mill 3. The Twin Mill 3 is probably the most true to form of the original Twin Mills. Um, so it's an interesting one. I believe the original uh, designer on the Twin Mill was Larry Wood. It's another one of the Larry Wood designs. But um, I don't know a lot more about it. I do know if, if the argument is whether it's a real car or not, it's kind of a trick question. It was a car that was made as a Hot Wheels car first, but Hot Wheels did produce a real version of the Twin Mill, a real scale version that you can see at some of the shows. I've seen it. I don't have any pictures of my own to show you, but I'll try to find some pictures here to show you in the video. So the Twin Mill, one of my favorite cars. Um, and uh, at this point I'll show you the tuned version if I can find it here and uh, we will see you in the next video thanks for watching Bye.